Hello to all of my viewers, this is Jothri Mahmood Anwar. Today I am gonna tell you what is research question, problem statement and how to formulate a good research question for your research paper or thesis. Always remember that start point of a research is a problem that is called a research problem. Your research endeavors to solve the problem Research problem is presented by management questions or research questions. In addition to your main research question, you can also develop one or more sub-questions. Sub-questions help to answer your main research question. Problem is always presented in problem statement. Problem statement is usually one or two sentences per us to explain the problem your study is going to address. Most often you may have seen long long problem statements in thesis. Remember that's in total wrong. Problem statement should be a singular statement. Remember it's problem statement not problem statements. Problem statement can be derived by applying methods like literature reviews, personal experiences, discussions with peers or others and knowledge void methods. Now I'll present some examples of research questions. For instance, Agarwal and Prasad 1998 developed their domain specific innovativeness related construct and derived their research problem by using personal experiences. Matsuda et al. 2011 formalized the research problem by applying cultural variations for development of Japanese version of organization based self esteem. Let's consider this research, innovative esteem, antecedents and relationship with job performance. The researcher endeavored to propose a new construct, innovative esteem, and uh, to validate this new construct. Let's see what research question or management question the researcher formulated in this paper. Here you can see that researcher mentioned Applying knowledge-wide method to derive the research problem and formulate the research question. The researcher observed that Goldsmith and Matherley 1987 tested the associations between Kirtan's adoption innovation inventory and 12 items from adjective checklist with famous Rosenberg self-esteem scale. They found that innovative people are more likely to reflect high self-esteem but they did not endeavor to answer the question. Now see, this is the main research question proposed by the study. Why innovative people reflect high self-esteem? And this question has been proposed by using knowledge void method. Now let us see the sub question that is proposed in this research here it is the next section of the study focuses on the question is innovative esteem a valid psychological construct within a nomological framework this is the sub question that supports to answer the main question of the study because every new construct should be able to demonstrate theoretical construct validity. Therefore, this sub question has been proposed in this paper. So, this is how you can formulate your main research question or sub research questions. The nature of the study is determined by research questions. The study could be descriptive, exploratory, or hypothesis testing type of study. These are the natures of the study and the nature of the study is dependent on your research question. Selecting the research design is vital to effectively address main research problem and research questions. The research design reflects method of data collection, measurement of constructs and analysis of data. Research designs would be chosen by researcher Based on ontology of research, main types of research designs are experimental design, quasi-experimental designs, survey research, 
case study design and actual research design so you have seen that the nature of study and the selection of research design is also dependent on the research question so keep in mind that research question is very important that should be derived following the proper procedures that have been described in literature and should be reported in problem statement always remember that the problem statement should be a singular statement it means one or in some necessary cases it should not be more than two paras i hope you enjoyed this uh, visual illustration thank you for watching this lecture okay dr uh, alan ben jacob are you prepared to move forward yes i can okay the, the dr alan ben jacobs he actually took us up on the offer to publish with the international journal of management economics and social sciences this is one of the things that we are prepared to do as a group to help you get published in a peer reviewed journal so uh dr jacob before you move forward with that i'd like you to discuss a little bit about your experience and then go right into your presentation yes sure gladly so good morning everyone good afternoon i'm in the west coast so depends when you are where you are in the globe uh, i finished my uh, dba early this year and toward the end of the of the um, the dissertation approval and discussion i try to to publish in uh, several uh, um, magazine and and i didn't succeed uh, i connected with uh, with dr rivers and the and the society and i uh, shared my my passion in publishing my uh, my topic which was similar to what i will uh, discuss now in the presentation and uh, dr rivers he escorted me Uh, and uh, allowed me to to publish the, the article. It was a process of uh, three to four months that it took a lot of back and forth. And uh, I learned that it's I, I cannot use the same dissertation. I would need to put my inner voice, my academic uh, 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 background and study, and I would need to to turn it into something a bit different than what I I thought it would be. and and again after three or four months we were able i was able to to publish it was published uh, mid september so and i'm very proud and honored to to get this escort and the uh, support from the from the dba society team so thank you